If you don't have a vacuum pump, you can still get bubbles out of silicone rubber. It's all about the container you mix the rubber in. If you use a, t a tall, thin container, the bubbles at the bottom have a long, long way to rise up before they get to the top. If you use a flat container like this and you put in there, the surface area is much bigger and the distance the air bubble has to travel to break out is much shorter. So what that means is you can de-air rubber faster in a shallow pan than you can in a tall cup. The other advantage to, sh to a shallow container is if you don't have a vacuum pump at all, pour your rubber out into a shallow container and blow on it, agitate it, and the bubbles only have a short distance to rise so that you have a much better chance of getting more bubbles out of your rubber.